Hello everybody and welcome back to more Fallout 4. So we've made some improvements here in Sanctuary, one of which is a shack. <laughs> so I fiddled around with the building stuff for a long while and it was actually in some ways easy, in some ways pretty annoyingly difficult. But um, one thing that I had a problem with was the fact that my my like second floor it didn't match up with the wall here and left a little gap so i had to go out and put this shack wall instead so that the roof actually matches up up there but then i didn't like how it looked from the inside because it looks like this yeah really crappy so then i put another wall in front of it which is why it looks kind of ridiculous like this so uh yeah this shack didn't exactly go as planned. I think my problem is that I was supposed to put a roof on this and then put a floor on top of that roof or something. I'm not sure how it works. But then if I do that, then the staircase doesn't match up to the floor on the second floor. So I don't I don't know how I'm supposed to do it. I honestly don't. I just, I'm so confused. But anyways, here's a shack with some beds and stuff in it in case, I don't know, at a later date we get more people or I decide to make this my base or something. But I was kind of thinking that I would like to make my old home my base because I feel like that would be kind of fitting. Like, wouldn't you want to come back to your own house? Obviously, I haven't done much in this house, but I feel like later on I will. Um, I want to get all this fixed up. I mean, it does have a nice bathroom still. It's the only house in the neighborhood that has a nice bathroom. And, uh, yeah, I want to get my bedroom all fixed up. I think maybe perhaps I'll put, like, a wall inside of here if it's possible. I don't know. And I kept Sean's crib just for the sake of having it. Um, there is an option to make your own baby crib in the workshop, so there's that too. Anyways, what I've decided is that, um, <laughs> really, thanks for that advice. Um, hey, where did this come from? I've been cleaning up around Sanctuary a lot. Um, I've been going around and scrapping stuff like that. So I got rid of houses. I got rid of a lot of garbage that was on the ground. I even cleaned up our waterfront back or over there somewhere. And I also planted a lot more food. Um, which you can see here, and we got some gourd, and we got, I planted all those tato plants, so we have a oh ton God, of tato stuff. Bad. Bitch, I'm a bitch slap you, like seriously. Don't talk to me that way. <laughs> Seems uh, to be growing well. I just hate her. And I'm just gonna take everyone's food, because, you know, why the hell not? Um, one thing that I encountered while I was off I done camera... That was that he oh, wants us trade. to... No, I don't want to trade. You know, this military stuff isn't exactly my specialty. Or maybe he actually just gave me the quest without me actually talking to him? Let's see. Yeah, he did. So, yeah, he wants me to build defenses for Sanctuary. I like tourists because they do the shooting for me. So, no, let's get this out. I wanted to do this bit on camera, um, let's see, defenses, we've got guard posts and turrets, I don't understand how the turrets, okay, the laser turret requires power, but the machine gun turrets don't, uh, how do they, how do they operate, I don't, I don't know, I'm not sure where to put this, because am I going to want to protect sanctuary like in its entirety or just focus on the base up there for now hmm actually putting it on my shack roof kind of seems like a good idea but then how do i get my people onto the shack roof i have no idea oh i know a good place to put it uh wow i can't run while in this mode Let's put one back here, because we could totally get invaded from the waterfront. Yeah. Put one here for safety's sake. I don't know. Or maybe... 
Ooh, can someone like man the machine gun? Oh, can I put one on top of this? That would be so awesome if I could. <gasps> can I? Can I, can I, can I, can I please? Oh. I don't... Yes? Holy shit. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Alright, I'm gonna put one up here too. Yeah. Come on. Get on there. Oh, there we go. No. Ah! There we go. Now put one on here. That's pretty freaking awesome. I like that. Uh, haha, <laughs> I need circuitry. I think I actually have circuitry in my toolbox. Hold on one sec. Yeah, I stuffed a bunch of, like, stuff in here before. So let's take that. And these. I found one of the ways to, like, not store those things, but have them stored nevertheless, like in their component parts, is to just drop them all on the floor, go into the workshop menu, and scrap them from there. I honestly thought that's what the uh, scavenging station was for, but turns out that's not what it's for. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Yeah, why, why don't I make this? Oh, because I can't. Derp. Duh. What about... Ooh, a spotlight. But it requires... Energy. Do we have energy? That's really cool, providing light like that. That's awesome. Alright. Um, Alright, let's just go with the machine gun turrets for now, then. You seem like good... Uh, places to put them. Alright. And, uh, in case they make it past that, which, let's face it, they probably will. I don't know who they is, by the way. I, I don't know who would be attacking us, but, you know, always gotta be ready. Can I put one on the roof here? Oh, freaking awesome. Yes. It's, like, kind of off, though. There. Go up there. Can you... you're totally facing the wrong way. There. Much better. Now... Maybe I should put you on the corner. Uh... There? Alright, that's better. But the bad thing about that is that thing's gonna be making chugging noises, like, forever. Which is pretty annoying. Ooh, traps. Flamethrower traps. Huh. Alright. There's tons of options available, but we're not gonna mess around with that stuff for now. Um, does he have anything to say about Thanks us? Thanks for doing that. Well, we'll all sleep better that? at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Home. Feels good. Glad you feel that way. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course, you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Windows too. If you know what I mean. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. All right, sweet. So sanctuary's coming along nicely. And we leveled up for that. Cool. Oh, I also leveled up um, off camera because Building stuff actually gives you experience. So I have two points to put in. Awesome. Alright, I've been running into a lot of blocks where I need to have, like, the science skills. So I'm gonna put one in that and also for the gun nut so I can have better gun mods. Because I also ran into that roadblock. Um, and this, oh, wow, I didn't realize I could. And that is just really creepy. Um,. And while I was just leveling up, I just realized there's no, like, gun skill, lockpicking skill, and stuff like that anymore. I guess it's more like 
you have this and then you can put a point into the next rank. I don't know why I didn't pick up on that before. Anyways, what are we doing now? Repair pipe. Oh. Go to Diamond City. No thank you. So clear sunshine tidings co-op. Mm-hmm. Right. Right, 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 right. So where is that exactly? What is that supposed to be? Oh, that's where my power armor is. Okay, got it. Um, well? We might as well go there from the Museum of Freedom. Yes, please. Okay, we're here. And which direction are we going? This way! Awesome. Alright. So, <laughs> so far... I'm having a blast with this game. I'm really, really, really happy with the game. Um, yeah, there's like little bugs here and there, and I've heard stories online of things not working or blah blah blah, but you know, uh, I feel like the rest of the game kind of makes up for it. I really like what they've done. I'm really enjoying it. Things have been going awesomely. And my only regret is that I am sick. So, like, ugh. I can't LP it as much as I would like to because, as you can hear, I'm, like, losing my voice right now and someone is... Ooh, ghouls. No, 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 no. Wait, why do I not have a weapon equipped? Oh, probably because I stashed my gun. Oh, because I put a scope on it. It's a sniper rifle now. That's interesting. And it's bayoneted, so it's long range and short range. That's really weird. Um, I put away my auto pistol because I felt like it was using up my ammo too much and making me go wildly inaccurate and shoot all over the place. So it was pretty bad use of my 10 millimeter uh, ammo. Let's see. I also, I think I improved this a little bit. I don't remember what I did to it. But I basically have, like, one gun for each ammo type right now, which is how I usually like to play. I know it drives some of you crazy, like, the fact that I haul around a bunch of guns, but... Ah, well. Alright, let's go with the shotgun for now. Better to have something. Where are you guys? Are you guys already battling? No. Oh my god. I hate it when they do that, seriously. This freaks the fuck out of me. Oh, it is dead. See, the bashing comes in real handy. Oh, and I kind of wanted to be like not picking up as much of, like, the junk stuff? Oh, fuck. A feral ghoul sleeping on a mattress. That's interesting. And a chemistry station. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't really have much to make right now. So no thank you. I said exit. Thank you. <laughs> But yeah, I want to kind of limit ooh, limit what I take because I feel like I just load up on so much crap that I'm just overweight all the time and having to manage my inventory all the time. It's getting kind of ridiculous. So when I need parts, I'll just go out into the world, into places I've already been and try to just like gather everything. But unless it's really special or it's something I need, um, I think I'm just going to leave them there. Because, oh, but stuff like duct tape I will take because I am running out of adhesives right now. Wah. And I'll take gas because, you know, oil. But other stuff like cups, bottles, and all that crap, I think I will just leave. 
But of course I will take food because why would I leave food? I don't trust it down here. I feel like there's gonna be more ghouls just like around the corner. What the shit is that? Oh, it's very radiated. And you just open the door willy-nilly. Wayne Korski. Oh god, really? I know it's a shotgun, like close range weapon and all, but seriously, that's serious baddie. Oh my god. I didn't realize bashing in the middle of reloading would just interrupt her immediately. I thought she would finish the action first. Alright, well, it's very irradiated in here, so... Oh god, there's a terminal. I'm gonna be irradiated the whole time? Or does it pause my radiation? Let's see. I really suck at this stuff, so... Alright, a word with... A T and... Or... An A and then second T... Oh. Can't be late. Could be gets. Uh, could also be race. Yes. Okay. Statement of intent. This will be my first and only entry. I identify myself as a free-thinking citizen of these once great... United States. I will not stand idly by as the government infects the minds of its people with devices like the electronical tower they've erected my in my they erected in my front lawn. I pledge to take down this mind control device by any means necessary and have begun construction on an incendiary device. If you are reading this, I have certainly been killed or detained in a government interrogation camp. Or you turned into a ghoul, you know, that too. The news will surely warp the truth and brand me as or brand me a communist traitor. Do not believe their lies. Let all true patriots know that what I do, I do of my own free will and for the good of my country. Right. Perfect. Diamond City is now permanently marked on your map. Thanks. Um, I should... I need to hurry up. So where's this weapon that he was talking about? Duct tape, duct tape. Apparently I'm looking for... What are these? Oh, I need nuke stuff. I think. Does that give me nuke stuff? I don't know. Where's his weapon? Oh, he doesn't have his weapon in here? Well, that sucks. Alright, let's get out of here before we get even more radiated. Hmm. I would have expected a, like, flamethrower thing. Hmm, that's weird. But what does he mean by... the mind control device? This thing? The power line? Dude. Whole new level of dumb. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Float flies, seriously? Can I just. Oh my god, why are you not- And who the fuck is throwing shit at me? Honestly, who the fuck threw a grenade? Or maybe it was the bloatfly projectile that counted as... Like, a grenade type attack. So the game just displays a grenade icon. Even though it's not actually a grenade. Hello? Uh... Carrot flower. What's going on over here? 
Who's shooting and why? This is gonna be fun. Is it though? Hold on. Let me get a longer range weapon on. I kind of want to try this weapon out. I should probably put these in my favorites so that I don't have to keep referring to my stupid thing. Uh, Q, three. Okay, how do I? Okay, that's cool. I don't like that it, like, fades to black when I go into my scope. That's really disconcerting. Like, it doesn't... Yeah. Good damage on the sniper rifle, though. So many chem stations all over the place, man. Where's the... Didn't I kill a dude over here? Where's the... Oh, there he is. He just blends so nicely with the ground. Also, I don't know if I want to take everyone's, like, clothes anymore. It just weighs way too much, and... What the hell? She was walking by herself? She is walking by herself right now. I am not... What the hell? Ah! Stop. Please, stop. What is going on? Okay. Are we back to normal now? Baby rattle. I don't want to know where these assholes got a baby rattle. Where did the other guy go? Oh. Wow. They just look identical to the ground. I know I just said this, but like, truly they do. Now what is... Walden Pond? It's pretty cool that they have like a little icon for every single location type thing, but it's kind of hard to make out what they are sometimes. <laughs> uh, nice place. I would be very, very surprised if the water isn't irradiated to all shit. Yup, irradiated to all shit. What are these? Water lilies? Kind of. Anybody home? Oh. I'll take your bourbon, though. Winter jacket and jeans. Oh, gotta try this on. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, it looks cute. Look, it's got my fedora on. I could pass for a normal human being. <laughs> Get my cage armor back on. I'm gonna leave off my gas mask because... It's one of those again. Don't like you. Tweez, if you're reading this, then you're an idiot. This is the last time I tell you we're locking this door. Use the entrance in the sewer pipe. Next time you forget, I'm locking your ass out permanently, Walter. Sewer pipe, eh? Oh, master. Won't be able to pick this. <sighs> oh, 
I don't want to go in the sewers though. The sewers are always really freaking scary. <sighs> That's cute, I guess. Oh my god, that was armed? I guess if I stepped on that, it could have gone off. Sweet. A blue dress! Yes, please. I like dresses. And it's laundered, too. It looks white to me. Oh, you can look under. Oh! But yeah, that looks like a white dress, not a blue dress. <laughs> Am I just weird? That's like... Maybe it's light blue, and it's just like the sunlight. Like that goddamn white and gold or black or blue shit all over again. Okay, well... Should I stick around? Well, I guess I'll just look around in the area for an entrance to the sewers. Is that it? Maybe. Can I go in? I totally can, I think. Um... Where's my quest location? Is it close? Kind of. Alright, fine. We'll go in the sewer pipe, but we'll do it next time, so I'll see you guys then.